So, even better, coming in. What to do if someone grabs us in the street? Today I'm gonna to give you some nice combos and some concept. You probably already know the difference between a cage, a tatami or the street. You don't want to lose time grapple in the street. In the street, what do you want to do? You want to finish. If you're good on grappling, you want to throw. If you go on striking, you want to strike hard and finish as fast as you can. It's too risky to start doing long combos or start doing a grappling match. You can't do it, simple as that. Even if you start with a one-to-one, -one, in the meantime, you don't know if other people are coming. The environment is different, there are hard stuff all around. You can cut yourself, you can bang your head. And then very simply, there's no weight category, so the other person can be far bigger and stronger than you. So you should avoid studying grappling and just study how to strike for the street. Well, definitely not. That's the problem of the strikers. If you see a striker, when someone starts grappling with them, they go straight on the floor, they don't know what to do, and they like puppets in the hands of their aggressor. You should definitely study something like wrestling, BJJ, or something like rugby. Rugby is great. When you start grappling, if you are a striker, or you don't have experience in grappling anyway, you feel trapped. And this atavistic fear of being in control takes over us and we got more in trouble. But now there's a twist. You have to reframe this point of view. So Rio, can you come please? All right. Look, you, you grab me. Be careful with the microphone. So look at that. It's got one and three. I got two and three. All right. So let's do it again. You grab. It's got one and three, I got two. Let's do it from the other side, very simple. If you train that and you work on your reflexes, you can take advantage on the first attempt to grab you. Punch straight away, keeping the distance. That's the best option. But do you know how to punch for the street hard with a bare fist without breaking your hands? Well, if that sounds interesting to you, have a look to our course. The link is in the description. Well, what if the guy managed to grab you and pull you? Well, that's even better. All right, let's watch the second option We Rio. Please, Rio. So if he's pulling me with both one hand or two hands, from here, pull me, even better. You use this force to attack him. One more, coming in, from the other side, is it okay? okay. Go, pull me, coming in. When you do this movement, you actually gonna do a drop step. Okay, so it's all your body weight on the elbows. Wait, if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe. All right, and for the last option, Let's say we couldn't stop and we are already in a situation of grappling. So what we don't want to do, we don't want to stay there and grab. So ideally, you want to control the inside of the shoulder. And from here, I can use this the headbutt. Uh, we got nine different headbutts in practical boxing. This is one of those. And again, you shift the body weight coming in. You want your hands inside, but sometimes we are in different situation. Don't worry about coming inside. Just go and hit here. So when you hit here, hit with the uh, with the crown, with this part of the head. Tense a bit, tense a bit your back because you need a strong back. Coming in. All right. Now from here, that could be a finisher just for the moment. You can go again for punches. Oh, even if you are in a good position, you go over there. Stop. 
stomp over there. Not the head, you don't want to kill him. You can stomp here and run away. Thank you very much, Rio. No problem. <laughs> all right, remember to have a look through the course. And that's all for today. See you soon.